Uh, oh, hey, you know what time it is? It's time for change. And I love change, and I'm totally not getting really uncomfortable looking at this opening screen, which, uh, it's just not, it's not how it usually looks. It's just... <laughs> Anyone else just feel a bit awkward now? <laughs> like, it's just not the same? That's right, I've never really done any Victoria 2 alt history mods, so this is definitely going to be interesting for me. But the basic premise is that England and France never really split. Their crown is actually still the same one, and they are unified. And the Duke of Bur Burgundy still exists, and loads of things are different. It's a, it's a real big, complicated, big ball of... Bollock. Before we start, it's Christmas today. That's right, every day until the 25th is now Christmas, and then every day after that is 365 days until Christmas. You know what people do on Christmas? They buy things they never need, like the Isara Productions merch. Oh my god, look how much cool stuff there is. There's an actual Belgian Lives Matter flag and a cool trucking to Moscow t-shirt. Link in the description. Go, go ahead. Uh, go ask your mom for a Truck into Moscow t-shirt for Christmas. Oh, I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. <clears throat> so as you can see, the world looks a bit more perplexing than it does usually in Victoria 2. There's a lot more nations. There are some unfamiliar nations. And most importantly, why you gotta be so big, Bohemia? That's a real big Bohemian boy right there. Basic premise is uh, that England and France are just still together. Burgundy still exists because the, the Duke Burgundy just never died. He's still the exact same Duke from back in the day. He's pretty old, he's pretty wrinkly, and honestly, it's a bit of a miracle. He's It might be Jesus. Jesus leads Burgundy. Write that in the official law books, aka the Bible too. So I've been looking around and uh, I, I'm not entirely sure I want to play in Europe for this. It looks pretty messy. Of course, I'm assuming we're supposed to be playing as like, I, I don't know. No one's really a colonial power. That's the thing. There's a lot of like land we can go ahead and just start eating up because for whatever reason, no one really went west into uh, like the new world. No one really went east into India this time around. So there's a, there's a lot of possibilities we can do, and I feel like we've definitely got to play as more of a emerging power. But not you. Never, ever are we playing you. It's the last thing you see before death. A Belgian North America. Wait, the west coast of America is owned by the Chinku. I'm going to go ahead and assume they're, they're from China. Or is that... Is that racist? Uh, I've been looking around this map for like five minutes now. There's so many interesting choices, but I think we're going to settle for Japan. Uh, I, I don't know why Japan's already Western, but hey, that just means we've got some tentacles early. There you go. Here's some more lore for you if you guys really want to fall asleep. But basically, Jesus came back, took over the Duke of Burgundy, or was the Duke of Burgundy the whole time. The devil was probably French, and that's why the English came in and just saved them and burnt them on the cross. Or the English are actually French in this scenario. Nothing makes sense. Japan's Western. Let's get some hentai. One of the interesting things of this mod is because no one really is a dominant power in Europe, there's apparently no international code, which means we actually get loads and loads of infamy reduction, which means we're gonna go a bit crazy. So we start off at war with the Koreans, and hopefully we can win this war and re-annex them before they go ahead and just break free from us, because I, I really like the idea of me just owning the world. Oh man, I get that reference. That that reference is about um the plumber the, the one with the red hat that goes to castles to find the princess right i'm right i'm gonna give you a chance here to understand why this war is not that fun for me right now i got career under control didn't realize the chinese landed in my homeland and i'm going bro yeah I, i've quite literally bankrupted myself just to win this war or at least very close to bankrupting myself but we have done it and now i can only hope that we can somehow recover from this uh, okay yeah having no problem whatsoever recovering from this, but I'm not entirely sure why. Now, I could be wrong, but I think this mod's actually based upon the Pop Demand mod? I, I think, because I don't recognize a bunch of these RGOs. A lot of things are different with that mod. Now, it's definitely not HPM or HFM, which a lot of the, the newer mods are based on, so I, I definitely think this is Pop Demand, so I'm gonna have to do a bit of learning here. Oh, damn, I just noticed we got a whole lot of grain over here in these provinces. You know, you could do it with grain, people. That's right, you could start yourself a commercial BAKING EMPIRE! I don't know why, but Russia never unified in this universe and a lot of Siberia is still untouched and we actually have a little protector a satellite I, I don't know who they are but we've got these guys over here who are our, our little bitch boys which um maybe we can annex later on and actually do some colonizers of Siberia I, I don't actually know I, I don't know all right I've never played this before oh a, they've also added new units which means I, I I don't even understand you can have mobile artillery which is fast artillery you have infantry and then you have regulars I what is the difference 
Why do they require 48 revolvers? Oh, wow. That's really cool. Neptune's been discovered by Bavaria. Mm. The eighth planet. It's real interesting. Oh, hold on a second. These pesky Europeans appear to be getting involved in my Asian affairs, which uh, I'm going to have to put a stop to. Oh, my God. I, I got even more infamy reduction. Yeah, China's pretty confusing. So this says that uh, Ming now resides in Taiwan and I'm going to attack them for 10 infamy, which is literally nothing because I'm losing so much. And I'm already at war with Brunei at the same time. So I'm just eating up land everywhere I can. I probably should have read up on the law exactly why China is just so messed up, but I, I just kind of like the mystery of it. Well, there's one China dealt with and we got a nice bit of the Philippines too, which is... um cool, I suppose. I'm gonna go take myself a nice slice of Malacca as well while I'm down here. Oh, hold on a second. I've actually been declared war on by the Chinese. Yeah, I didn't go too well for them. A little bit of turmoil in the dual monarchy there. I guess it can't all be easy, breezy, smooth sailing, but uh, I don't know if this means they're gonna break up or not, but just in general, like, Europe's pr pretty messed up. Somehow the Italians have actually managed to form, though. Of all people, they're doing well. Okay, it's one of those mobs where they just really suck off Macedonia. Just call it Greece! Oh, we actually did manage to annex our A new protectorate, but I did realise as soon as I took that Chinese land that my, um, my literacy rate goes down every time I take provinces, which, um, is not good. Oh, Lord, he coming! Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with that huge bohemia right now. I didn't realise I didn't even bother to look at Australia, and I actually come down here, and I, I can actually colonize it which is pretty interesting because apparently no one bothered yeah i can also go ahead and just enslave the kiwis while we're at it because i'm assuming no one else is actually gonna bother do this oh and the native americans have formed a, a massive nation uh, okay oh, great no, i <laughs> i i I created communism, okay, let's just get it over with. Oh, would you look at that? It's my top 10 anime crossovers. It's Manchukuo. Really? I just had a communist revolt all the way up here in Siberia. That's the whole population. Much I love China just declaring war on me and I get loads of land off them. None of them can read. You're really ruining my whole nation because you can't read. Every time I try to like stop taking land from China, it just gets so much easier to do it. It's, it's 2.5 infamy for each province. How could I not do it? But it's hurting me so much. Oh, there goes like half the population's brain cells. Oh yeah, things are definitely not going great for that whole dual monarchy thing because it's now a republic and England and Ireland are... Semi-autonomous are not free. They're still satellites, but still. Oh, I can finally go ahead and play me some Super Mario Bros. And it's about time. I've been waiting. I, I, I need to go save some princesses. It's so overpowered. I, I don't think it's that overpowered. Actually, now I think about this, it, it's actually very worthless land. Oh, well, uh, I got involved in a crisis and now Prussia's here. But it, uh, it's... It's not very glorious Prussia that we're used to, is it? Oh, if no one else could eat Edge, how, how the hell am I not gonna? Jeez, it's right there looking pretty damn tasty. Oh, I opened uh, immigration in my country, and uh, now everyone's leaving to go live in South Africa. Not particularly where I would have sent my Japanese people to, but sure. Oh, uh, well, there goes Prussia. Uh, I'm not... You're... Uh, I'm not fighting. <laughs> I'm not coming all the way over there to save your ass, Prussia. Oh, just when I thought the anarcho-liberals weren't going to spawn. Here they are. Ugh, every mod. <laughs> but I am first to the North Pole. I guess that makes up for everyone leaving my country, being at war with China for the 15th time, and the fact my country's getting run over by Anakin. Sorry, I really, I just can't help myself. I, I just, I'm addicted to taking over China. Wait a second. Hold on. That's not right. Oh, yes, it's dreadnought time, baby! Oh, you know, it's getting pretty bad for China when even Tibet's taking land off of them. Oh, apparently we're the workshop of the world, which is pretty funny, considering half my industry is based on baked good. Uh, also paying attention, started a great war. Uh, <laughs> that's just kind of how all great wars happen, though, really. You know, you never really go into it trying to make one. Oh, uh, some say Neptune's good, but they ain't no Pluto, all right? So I allied with Muscovy and called them into the Great War, and they're just doing all the work for me. I, I'm, I'm actually not having to do anything. Yeah, I'm not going to claim credit for winning this great war, but I am going to claim all the reward. Um, I feel like that's only fitting considering I did basically nothing. I say that, Muscovy is looking pretty damn thick now. I don't know if they can actually form Russia, but it looks like if they can, they're pretty close to it. Wait a second. I just got a pop-up saying I just discovered Benito Mussolini. 
Benito Mussolini is a technology in this mo- Oh my god! Tell you what, we're gonna leave it off here for today, guys. Uh, we got to 1990, but not a lot happened after that first war. Um, not- It was kind of very easy for me to get great power, as you can probably see, and no one really stood up to me after that, so... Uh, it got a bit boring for me, I won't lie. The first bit was pretty good, just conquering everyone, I won't lie. That was pretty damn interesting and fun to play as. So I might give this mod another go around. I don't know if you guys want to see this, but if you do, feel free to leave a like at the subscribe button and let me know who you want to play as down below. And please actually do leave some feedback. I don't know exactly if you guys want to see more of these alt history mods for Victoria 2, but if you do, please let me know down below. And again, if you guys want to go ahead and support the channel and buy some merch, that will also be linked down below. So until next time, guys, please leave some feedback if you want to see more obviously because I would like to know and uh, I'll see you around.